The 2023 track and field season is officially in full swing, and the talent pool that we are seeing is virtually unstoppable, especially when we take a look at what happened in this weekend's Racers Grand Prix in Kingston, Jamaica, the home of true greatness in the sprinting world. To put it simply, this competition brought out all of the smoke, and we saw lightning on the track once again. In the men's 400 meters, we saw the world record holder Wade Van Niekerk light up the track with a time of 44.21 seconds, easily taking this victory in the men's 400. In the women's 100 meters, we saw Sharika Jackson unleash her speed on this field with a convincing win of 10.78 seconds, a time that just barely missed out on the world-leading time in the women's 100-meter dash of Shakiri Richardson, which stands at 10.76. However, the biggest performance in this competition had to be what happened in the men's 200 meters, because Noah Lyles absolutely rocked this competition. Running out in lane 7, Noah Lyles got an incredible start in this 200 meter dash, and he came off the turn with a slight lead over everyone else. And even though Zarnell Hughes to his inside was pretty close to Lyles at this point, his final 100 meters looked like a carbon copy of last year's world championships, where he ran his final 100 in 9.16 seconds. And during this race in Kingston, Jamaica, he went completely unchallenged over this final stretch, where he absolutely galloped his way to the victory. With a finishing time of 19.67 seconds, Lyles took down the second place finisher Zarnell Hughes by 0.47 seconds, almost half of a second in the 200 meter dash, which is the type of victory that we rarely see in this racing discipline. Lyles' untouchable status in the men's 200 right now has become so consistent that his new goals include two primary targets, more global titles and the world record in the 200 meters. Now the world record is still quite the ways away from Noah Lyles, and even he would admit that it will require a nearly flawless performance to get there. And speaking of world records, after Lyles finished with this new world leading time, he was greeted by none other than the GOAT himself, Usain Bolt, the greatest sprinter of all time. This post-race clashing of all-time greats was quite the moment to remember. Upon Bolt finishing his career in 2017, and Lyles just starting to reach his international status at the time, these two never really had the chance to clash on the track. But, if there is anyone in the world right now with a real chance to attack one of Bolt's records, it would certainly be Noah Lyles, and the event would certainly be the 200 meters. And according to Noah, he's actually ahead of the pace that he was on last season, where he won the world championships and won in a time of 19.31. And this is a scary prospect for any other sprinter around the world. At this point in Lyles' 2022 season, his best in the 200 was only 19.72, which is slightly behind what he just did in Kingston, Jamaica. Now, moving into the beginning of June last year, he did drop a time of 19.61 in the New York Grand Prix, which was a huge step forward last season. However, if we take Lyles at his word, his next few weeks of racing could be very impressive. However, the truth about Noah Lyles is that his eyes are fixated on one specific race, and that is the 2023 World Championships in Budapest, where combined with the crowd, the hype of the competition, the perfect buildup to his all-time fitness, and hopefully favorable conditions, this very well could be the year where we see something quite special from Noah Lyles. Of course, reaching the level of a 19.19 is a very, very big task. In fact, many have called Bolt's 100 and 200 meter world records completely untouchable for more than a decade now. And they've done this for good reason. No matter what the competition has been, no matter what the global stage, no matter what the conditions have been, nobody has quite been able to reach the marks of 9.58 in the 100 and 19.19 in the 200 meters. With this daunting task now in front of Noah Lyles, what exactly would it take to reach these iconic marks in the sport of athletics? And is it even possible in the current landscape of track and field right now? If we go back to Lyles' 19.31 from the 2022 World Championships, we can see that his opening 100 was 10.15 and his final 100 meters was 9.16 seconds. This is a very impressive combination of splits for the 200 meter dash. In fact, his second 100 meters to this day is still the second fastest close in 200 meter history. But if we compare what Lyles did in 2022 to what Usain Bolt did back in 2009, we can see clearly the gap where Lyles will need to improve for the future. 
with an opening 100 of 9.92 seconds and a final 100 meters of 9.27. We can see that Bolt did the classic Bolt thing back in 2009 and crushed the entire field over the opening 100. Believe me when I say that opening a 200 meter race like this on a turn is nearly unattainable for anyone else in the world, but to have the strength to continue sprinting showcases just how dominant Bolt truly was. Now, in an interview with Noah Lyles, we asked him what exactly it would take to reach this 19.19 barrier, and here is what he had to say about this task. There are so many different ways to run a world record, but I truthfully believe that this year I will go from running 10-1 in my first hundreds to running nine seconds in my first hundred, and that's what's gonna be the difference. This year is, I'm actually gonna blow a lot of people's minds. My coach would not allow me to actually run as fast as I wanted to. So, so let's say that you have your max. My max was 19.5. There was no proof that it was beyond that yet. Now that we have, and because of that max of 19.5, he would only let me train at a speed that would give some cushion to a little bit faster than 19.5 or a little bit slower than 19.5. Mm -hmm. Now that he knows that the max is at 19.3, he can give me workouts that represent 19.3. And the whole season, coaches, you know, saying, hey, I need you to come through your 150 at 14.6. And I'm like, coach, I can give you five, four, like 14.5, 14.3. Let me show you. He's like, no, I don't need that. Because he hadn't seen proof that I could do that on the track and I could do it multiple times. Because what he didn't want me to do is run that and be broken for the rest of the workout. But now that I have proved to him this season that I can run faster than that, and not be broken for the rest of the workout. He can continuously give me workouts that force me to train at a high level constantly and not be completely wiped out. And that is how you continuously grow in your workouts. Clearly the push from 10.15 for the opening 100 to even a time of 9.99 over the opening 100 meters would already make up the stagger in order to break the world record. But, this kind of lightning quick opening 100 will still require a historically fast closing 100 meters, so having the ability to start your race very quick will also need to be paired with historic sprinting strength. Now, despite the massive challenge that Lyles has in front of him to match the world record of Usain Bolt, he still approaches this task with endless determination. In every single race, Lyles always packs a punch, and his closing 50 meters is always something that gives him an edge. For this race in Kingston, Jamaica, Lyles is right on track to achieving the impossible, and for his entire 2023 so far, he is proving the ability to not only start faster, but to maintain his top end speed. He's already making running under 20 seconds for the 200 meters look like a casual performance, and again, his closing speed has gone nowhere. So with all of these abilities and his sprinting arsenal, there's clearly more great races right around the corner. But the big question that everyone is still wondering is can Lyles complete the task and challenge the world record of Usain Bolt? And now I want to hear from all of you. What exactly will Noah Lyles do in 2023? Will he go on to win the world championships in Budapest, Hungary? Will he continue forward and improve on his own personal record? And can he challenge the world record of Usain Bolt at 19.19 seconds that has now stood for close to 14 years? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.